Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block, and I'm doing a little video um, regarding the end of the transfer window. Liverpool was quite busy during the past couple days. I just want to recap what happened. Uh, David Ingog was sold to Bolton for about four million pounds, and in came Craig Bellamy on loan from Manchester City. Um, I think it was a good swap considering Ingog is out, Bellamy in. Even though uh, Bellamy didn't really play in the Premier League that last, last season, he's proved himself to be a, a capable Premier League striker and a quality one at times. Yes, he's a little older, 31, 32. Um, has probably lost some of the pace that really made him a dangerous player. But I do think he's an upgrade over Ingog. Uh, Ingog has had pretty pitiful returns considering the amount of games he's played for Liverpool the past couple of seasons. And yeah, he's young, but um, you can just tell right now that he's not really a player that could ever be a, counted on as a first-rate striker. Um, he doesn't really know how to hold the ball up. His finishing isn't really great. Um, he has some pace, but he doesn't really have the physical build, I think, to really be in a week-to-week -week Premier League striker. And Bellamy has proven to be one. Um, in my last video, I was, really wasn't in favor of the Greg Bellamy move, just because um, he's had kind of an iffy history with Liverpool, depending on who you believe. Um, he's either great in the locker room or he'll tear the locker room apart. But um, at the end of the day, it was up to Kenny Daglish to bring him in, and I think we can all trust Kenny Daglish's man management and character reading skills. Um, it appears that Manchester City is actually footing most of Bellamy's wages, which are reported to be around £95,000 a week. Um, honestly, if Manchester City is uh, eating most of those wages, I am perfectly fine with the move. So I think that was a good pickup for Liverpool right there. But in a bigger turn of events, uh, Raul Mieres was sold to Chelsea for £10 million, and Yassi Benayoun did not come back to Liverpool. He actually went to Arsenal. Now, I was actually disappointed in this move. Um, in my past videos, I've expressed how much I like Raul Mieres as a player. I think he's an indispensable squad player. And last season, I think he proved that in terms of pure skill set, he's kind of like a poor man Steven Gerrard. Um, he can play really anywhere in midfield, and when he played sort of up front in the hole in the Gerrard position last year with the Strikers, he won on that great goal scoring spree. I think he scored five goals in four games. So I think to lose a player like Raul Mieros, who can really play any position in midfield, and who's very, very versatile and quality in each of those positions, it's not something you want to do. But when a player hands in a written transfer request and there's 10 million pounds on the table, I don't think Liverpool could refuse. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that Mieros wanted to jump ship. But if you look at it, he's a player um, sort of in his prime, and he wants to win trophies now. He wants to win trophies this year. And it really just shows that Liverpool aren't exactly in the best position right now to sign and attract and keep on to their high-quality players. Even though Liverpool is on the up and up, they signed great players. Kenny Daglish is back. Um, we should be in strong contention with the top four this season. With the Raul Mieros departure really shows to me that um, there's still a ton of work to be done at Liverpool if we want to hang on and keep attracting quality star players. So that, that was my thought on the transfer. Uh, Chelsea actually won't even have him for another three to four weeks because he has a broken shoulder or collarbone, I believe. But um, it's sad to see a player like Miro's go just because he's so versatile and he's so quality in each of the positions that he plays. So give me your thoughts on the transfer. Um, give me your thoughts on Liverpool's, I guess, total trans transfer round roundup. Um, I think I read somewhere that Liverpool cut around 30 million pounds in wages the transfer window, which I think is absolutely um, amazing. And here's one more stat that I saw a couple days ago that I thought would be pretty interesting. Luis Suarez earns 70,000 pounds a week. Fernando Torres, on the other hand, earns around 215,000 pounds a week. Uh, Luis Suarez has seven goals for Liverpool. Fernando Torres has one goal for Liverpool. Just remember that, guys. Oh, and also one more note. If you've noticed, I'm not in my usual setting right now. I'm actually at college. Um, here's a view out my dorm room window. I'm living in New York City now. Uh, just because of college and the fact that I don't have my little brother to edit and film these videos anymore, they're going to be a little less quality because, you know, I'm not the most brilliant art director or anything. I don't really have great editing skills. Um, and they're not going to be as frequent as I would like just because it's going to be hard to watch games, make videos, uh, provide analysis, and try to keep up with my studies along with everything else that I have to do in New York City. But I promise you I will be making videos as much as possible, and I'll try to make a video at least once a week, if not two times a week. But I'm really, really going to try to keep up with the channel because it is growing a lot. And I just love having the conversation with my fans and all these Liverpool fans in the comments right now.